The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, MBTI, has been used for a long time to help people figure out their personalities. The INFP personality type, which is marked by introversion, intuition, feeling, and perceiving, is a bright spot for thinkers and idealists. But there is a difference between INFP types that isn't as well known but is still important. The assertive, A, and turbulent, T, traits. These subtle differences make the world of INFPs even more complicated than it already is. A quick review of how to understand the INFP personality. Before getting into the differences between INFPA and INFPT, it's important to go over the main traits that make up an INFP personality. INFPs are shy people who feel better when they are alone or in small, important groups. Because they are intuitive, they are drawn to the future, where creativity and fantasy can grow. They make choices based on their own values, which stress empathy, compassion, and the search for unity, but are guided by their feelings. The INFP sensing trait makes it easy for them to deal with the ups and downs of life. They like being flexible and spontaneous. Confident dreamer. INFPA, the assertive one. People with the assertive version of the INFP personality type have their own set of traits that affect how they live their lives. A person who is an INFPA has a strong sense of self-confidence and certainty. This doesn't mean that they are cocky or don't care about other people. Instead, it means that they have a calm sense of self-confidence that lets them handle life's difficulties with a calm attitude. One thing that makes an INFPA stand out is that they can handle stress better. They are strong because they have a lot of faith in their own skills. This doesn't mean they can't feel stress. But it does mean they have a way to deal with it that keeps stresses from taking over their emotions. Because of this, INFP has often seemed calm, even when things are going badly. The assertive INFP often makes choices based on a clear knowledge of their own values. They don't question their decisions as often and are more determined to follow their ethics. This determination gives them a sense of direction in life, which gives them the courage to follow their dreams. The sensitive idealist is an INFPT who is turbulent. In the opposite direction, the turbulent type of the INFP personality type adds a set of traits that make this personality type's feelings more complex. Individuals who are INFPT may feel more self-conscious and sensitive to stressors than their assertive peers. Being hard on themselves is a big part of being an INFPT. This isn't always because they don't believe in themselves. It could be because they want to be great. People with a turbulent INFP personality type may have high standards and always try to do their best. This drive to be perfect can be strong, but it can also lead to self-doubt and inner battles. The INFPT may need to dance with their feelings in a more complex way to deal with stress. Because they are so sensitive, they may be very aware of their own feelings and the feelings of those around them. This understanding is a strength, but it can also be stressful as they try to figure out how to get along with other people. What makes INFPA and INFPT different? How to deal with stress and confidence. INFPAs are calm and collected, and they deal with stress by being strong and having faith in their own skills. Because they are more sensitive and more likely to criticize themselves, INFPTs may feel more stressed. Making choices and being convinced. INFPAs make choices based on a deep understanding of their own values and are sure of what they want. INFPTs may have trouble with self-doubt and change their minds about things more often because they want to be great. Being aware of and sensitive to your emotions. INFPAs have emotional intelligence and a balanced knowledge of their feelings, which helps them get along with others. INFPTs are more sensitive than most people, which can help them connect with others more deeply but also makes them more emotionally open. Self-reflection and trying to be perfect. People who are INFPA use self-reflection to grow, but they tend to be more tolerant of flaws. INFPTs want to be perfect, which makes them think a lot about themselves and want to keep getting better. Getting through the complexities, the range of INFPA, T. To fully understand the assertive and turbulent traits, it is important to remember that they are not hard and fast rules. Some people may lean more toward one end, but there will always be differences within each type. A person's place on the spectrum can be changed by their life events, personal growth, and outside factors. Also, an INFP's worth or success is not based on whether they are assertive or turbulent. 
All of these variations, each with its own set of strengths and weaknesses, add to the complexity of the INFP personality. In personal interactions, being aware of these subtleties can help people understand and communicate with each other better. Partners, friends, and coworkers can help and connect to an INFP more if they understand how their assertive or turbulent nature works. Celebrating diversity within INFP. Though personality types are very broad, the INFPA and INFPT labels help us understand how people with the same personality type can be different in subtle ways. Assertive and turbulent INFPs both make the world a better place with their unique mix of creativity, compassion, and self-reflection. Whether they are boldly following their dreams or figuring out how to improve themselves. Accepting the differences that exist within the INFP personality type helps people have a broader understanding of what it means to be human. The idealists and dreamers, with their assertive or turbulent traits, keep telling stories of inspiration and truth which add to the constantly changing tapestry of personality study.